This is Engineering Marvels. We all have traditional images of oil drilling from movies and television, where a drill goes down the ground and black gold comes gushing out. And up to the ground come a bubbling crude, or that is, black gold. But the fact is, that's only part of the story when it comes to tapping into oil and gas in the ground. Large reserves of oil and gas are found in what are known as shale formations. These formations are oriented horizontally, and traditional methods, which drill vertically, have had difficulty extracting these reserves. But what if one could drill for shale in the direction the deposits are laid out, horizontally? Two key developments in drilling technology have now made this possible. The first was the adaptation of gyroscopic compasses from aviation to be used down hole so the driller can tell where the drill bit is and therefore where the hole is going. The second development in drilling technology was a downhole motor that fits onto the bottom of the drill stem. The old drilling method turned the entire drill stem to drive the bit. Modern drilling technology relies on a motor attached to the bottom of a stationary drill stem that drives the drill bit. The motor is powered by the flow of drilling mud forced down the center of the stem. This flowing mud powers the motor just like flowing water from a dam powers a turbine. The mud then does double duty by carrying the chips from the drilling back up to the surface before being recycled for another trip. The direction the drilling proceeds is controlled because the motor and bit are on a gimbal whose direction can be controlled from the surface. The result of all this technology is precision drilling that offers greater yields of an energy resource that, up until recently, was being left in the ground. Engineering Marbles is a joint production of the Frank H. Dodderwhite College of Engineering at Texas A&M University Kingsville and South Texas Public Radio. Episodes and information are available online at www.tamuk.edu forward slash engineering. I'm Jason Martin.